Sir. You, you're this is not Steve Cuba. Jacob. You're making God a bless mess. America. Yes, thank you, Lord. This is a public sidewalk, sir. Ryan. I checked the city engineer Platts. You're not lying to me. This is not private. You're obstructing a public thoroughfare, sir. Do you see anybody being obstructed? Doesn't to obstruct, somebody needs to be obstructed. There is nobody being obstructed. Nobody being obstructed. conduct me? I don't uh, think he does. I think so. Engaging. Uh, call my attorney, Terry Knopfsinger, if you want to find out. I don't need to. I know the law. Uh, well, then you realize I'm doing nothing illegal. If you're making reasonable noise, that's disorderly conduct. No, sir. Unreasonable noise, unreasonable noise. is being noise. unreasonable in the context of the city. No, that's not. That's oh, not yes. Uh, call that, Mr. Knopfsinger, Terry Knopfsinger, my attorney. It's unreasonable, and we Go ask you to stop making unreasonable noise, sir. Oh, no. I'm very aware of the what's, what's unreasonable message, noise sir? ordinance of this city. What kind of message you got here? We're unamplified. We are unamplified. Oh, I know. We're talking a little bit louder than you are. If I'm unreasonable by noise, you, yep, sir, sir, are unreasonable by noise. Okay. What's, what's your message today? I'm not going to Uh, are you going to judge me on my content? No, I'm just so curious. Oh, uh, well. Listen up, you'll hear him preach. Listen up, stay around, we'll preach, and uh, if you want to hear our message, we'll tell you our message. It's like you got a nice congregation. Oh, yeah, they've you doubled since you've arrived. Police action always gets a bigger crowd, don't you know that? Uh, yeah. I guess it does. Now you are blocking the sidewalk. Who's blocking the sidewalk? In which place? I want you to define it so I can not block the sidewalk. Well, the sidewalk is a public way, okay? Yes, sir. Which means... How about your cruiser? Get his cruiser on the sidewalk here. Yep. Then, I think your cruiser's blocking the sidewalk. That's because I'm here on a complaint. It's a merchant vehicle. There it is. A bunch of hypocrites. There it is. Tyrants. Okay. Tyrants. Tyrants. There it is. Okay, now right we're not blocking the sidewalk. Everybody's name and face. I'm my luggage. As long as you keep walking around, you're not blocking the sidewalk. No, that's illegal, sir. Oh, 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 oh. That's oh, oh, oh. Down every court of law in the country. Stop your sinning to be forgiven by the Lord Jesus Christ. People that's that don't know the law. Hell, oh, hell is a real man. place, students. And many of you are headed there. Many of you are bound to hell. The only way out is through Jesus Christ to repentance and faith. You must repent or perish. Receive this warning from the Bible. Receive this warning from God's word. Repent or perish, fornicator. I believe cigarette sucking is a sin. I believe it's very much my opinion all you people... You don't have to leave. The policeman cannot make you leave. This is America. Communists! Communists! This the, is America. Welcome to the beginnings of communism. Uh, yes. These men... Tyrants! Tyrants! Not violating the law. God haters. But you students are being... You students Title are being 42, section 1983. these people tell you, you do. They say you don't leave. Tyrants! Okay. You don't have to leave. I'll do it. Section. No, they're paying fifteen thousand dollars. Violate the state, law. That's their mistake. <laughs> yep. Title forty two, section nineteen eighty three. You all should go All well. you rock and roll freaks are running <laughs> with the devil. Start all you down. rock and roll freaks on the highway to hell. All you rock and roll freaks will find out the whereabouts of Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison is in hell, and he's been there for some 20 years. You rock and roll freaks will find out that right next to Jim Morrison in hell is John Belushi. Right next to John Belushi in hell is John Bonham. And many of you people are going to be right next to John Bonham. Right next to John Bonham in hell is Jimmy Hendrix. Right next to Jimi Hendrix is Elvis Presley. Right next to Elvis Presley in hell is, does anybody know? Does anybody know? Who's next to Elvis Presley in hell? It's Marilyn Monroe. And there's a reservation for Madonna right next door. There's a vehicle still on the side of He's probably damn cocaine. Like a lot of these homosexuals. <laughs> you know who else is in hell? You. Mother Teresa. <laughs> you know why? You know why Mother Teresa's in hell? Why is that? Because she was a pagan Roman Catholic. All pagan 
Roman Catholics are wicked, wicked, wicked. Yes. Well, Roman Catholics, Roman Catholics do not go to hell for Catholics. They go to hell for trampling on the blood of Jesus. You might be tap dancing on the blood of Christ, and that'll send you to hell. That's by having the knowledge of the Savior, but continuing down the road of sin. Yes, Christians are Christ's life. Christians do not sin. The Bible declares, the Bible declares that whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. First John Did you give the Larry Cruz his call screen? Oh my! He that committed sin is God the devil. And I can see there's a lot of students of the devil on this campus. I've already taken a survey and seen that there's a lot of students involved in sex, drugs, and sex problems. The Bible prohibits illicit sinful lifestyle of which many of you, females, females, are involved in. A lot of these females, a lot of these females think they're equal with men. But what does the Bible say? A lot of these women think they ought to be just like a man in society. But what does the Bible say? A lot of these women want to dress like men, look like men, wear their hair like men, but what does the Bible say? A lot of students would like to be the teacher, and a lot of teachers would like to be Jesus, the administrator. There are roles in society, and women and women need to learn their place in society. If you're so right, how come nobody here is listening to you? What is the place of a woman in society? Oh, in the kitchen. Let's go, let's go, let's hear it. Come on. <laughs> the place of the woman in society is wonderful. The place of the woman in society is virtuous. And the place of the woman in society is absolute, total submission to their husband. Yes, the Bible declares that female women should submit to their husbands. Yes. God loves me. God loves me because I obey him. God obey. God loves those that obey him. Jesus said in John chapter 14, verse 21, He that hath my commandment and keepeth him, he it is that loveth me, and shall be loved by me. What do you think about Darwin? Darwin. Oh, the author of evolution. No, any decent person that has a, a has an ounce, I mean a microcosm of a brain, can see that evolution is unscientific. You know what microcosm means? Do you know what evolution is? Evolution contradicts known laws of science. Have y'all students, have you students ever studied the law of biogenesis? I know it's tough. They probably don't teach you that law at this humanistic institution. The law of biogenesis, the law of biogenesis states that life begets life. Yes, life begets life. You're short, sir. Cover up your legs. <laughs> Bible, Bible, Bible. The second law of thermodynamics. Does anybody know the second law of thermodynamics? 
Does anybody know? This is at the mall. Yeah, the last Probably thing. Okay. not. The second one looked over there and it says. Uh-huh. That. Yeah. 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 So the principle is. No, that's the first law. The principle is things are going from order to disorder. Not disorder to order. But evolution. What? You have to prove that the total entropy of the universe has been negative. I Well, there's not enough time. There's not enough time for evolution to come to pass. Science has proven. True science has proven the world. Get these ignoramuses to be quiet, I'll bring you. Okay, all right. You've studied the Bible, you know all about that. Yes, I've studied the Bible. And I know that there's a lot of people on their way to hell on this campus. Okay. Well, Brother John, I know this is hard for you to believe, but Brother John has not always been this way. I used to be in a fraternity. When I was in a fraternity, you know what we like to do? Yeah, but something else. Yeah, we like to homosexual girls. activity. <laughs> we like to get the girls de virginized. Oh, yeah. 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 And I want to talk to you students. Steps to de virginizing a girl at college. You're going to give me the steps? That doesn't sound very Christian, man. Yeah. Why should we try to do this? You might learn something. I might learn something. Now, the best way, the first problem you have, the, wait a minute, not right now. There's a lot of boys in this campus that are so horny, they go to the bathroom. I'm asking. All right. Well, these fraternity boys, I want to show you how evil and wicked they are. When I was in a fraternity, and I always hey, broke out the seat. Yes! There's one! Hey, a frat boy! Yeah. Hey, there's a guy there! Hey, Another frat boy? Yeah. What do you want? Yeah. 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 I know where your 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 fraternity started, the University of Alabama. Yes. That's where I went to college. <laughs> My fraternity house was right next door to your fraternity house, the University of Alabama. Okay. <laughs> When I was at the University of Alabama in a fraternity, there was one problem with de-virginizing a girl. Does anybody know what it was? You know what I'm The problem was this, finding a virgin on campus. The best place to find a virgin on campus is in the freshman class. So, what we did in the fraternity was to have a big party for all the freshman girls. I don't want to hear about your freaking fraternity, stupid. So, think about God. I like God. I love God. He loves all of us. Well, why are you wearing those sissy earrings? <laughs> I appreciate you pansies wearing your hat. Yeah. 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 It gives me evidence of your yeah. So does that, does anybody know the first thing you gotta do to get a girl in the sack? Go get her drunk! Brother Jack, 
first step to getting a girl to give up her virginity is to get a girl.